Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Today we're building the Dual Selective Sample and Hold module by my friend Pete Hartman of Frogleg Synthesis. It's a skinny module at only 4 HP, but packs a lot of functionality. It's comprised of two identical sections, each containing two signal inputs, a sample input, a select input, and two identical outputs. The concept is simple, but unique. Basically, it's a very solid traditional sample and hold, but one that allows you to select between two input voltage sources by sending a signal to the select input. If you're like me and like injecting a little chaos into your music, this module is for you. Pete sent me most of the parts to build the module for this video, but there are no full kits available for sale right now. So you have to source your own parts, but it's easy since it's a pretty small project using mostly very common parts. I'll include a link to the build document in the video description below. Start with populating the flat resistors and diodes in the main board, skipping the standing resistors for now. I like soldering these from above to avoid turning the board around multiple times. I just turn it around once to clip the leads and touch up the soldering. Next in order of height come the IC sockets. I like to solder the corner pins first to secure the sockets in place before soldering all of the remaining pins. Now go ahead and install the standing resistors and the ceramic capacitors followed by the larger film caps. Then add the electrolytic capacitors and set this board aside. Now onto the control board. Start again with the resistors. Take out board 1 again, solder on the power header and the L header that will attach the boards together. Then place but do not solder the jacks. Attach the panel to ensure everything lines up, then solder the jacks. I didn't have the L header, so I just used a normal straight one and bent it after it was soldered. I felt like I was going to break the PCB and it just barely fit without making any shorts, so I don't recommend you do this. Just get the L header. Stick the ICs into their sockets, making sure they are correctly oriented, and you're done. As usual, check your power connector for shorts and plug it in to test it. That's it for right now. Stay tuned for the demo video coming very soon. See you later and stay noisy.